and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of read code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem is next permutation which is marked as a medium level problem and i agree with it let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one integer array arr and it will be containing numbers from 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 and its size and its size can also be from 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 okay and what we have to do we have to give the next permutation of this array like so because look let's let's see 241570 241750 this is our array contain elements now we will treat it as a number i will treat this as a number and what will be the next permutation which i can let's say create with it so implement the next permutation that rearranges the numbers into lexicographically next greater permutation okay if no if into into the lexicographically next greater permutation what does this mean this means ki, uh, if you take a dictionary if you take a dictionary so what number will come after 241750 with all the digits having these only okay all the digits used should be this and in the dictionary what will be the next number that will come so the next number that will come will be 245017 okay all right i hope i hope you guys will be getting a bit i will explain it again let me tell you this is a number 241750 okay i now i will tell what will be the next number next smallest number we can create which should be greater than this which should be greater than this and uh, containing these digits only okay and containing these digits only so this will be that number 245017 so in this way we will be given one array arr and i have treated it as a number and i have to return the next greater permutation of it next greater permutation of it okay all right and if it is not possible if it's already the greatest i will be rearrange the numbers into lowest possible order means return it in ascending order sort the array like return make make the array as uh, increasing order and simply return it we don't need to return it we will just do the thing because array arr is passed by reference so it's already done okay all right i hope the problem statement will be clear let's find out how we can do this so if you will see a very very nice observation is there if i will continue from the last it is zero okay and after that it is five so if you will take these two numbers five zero you will see it is already the greatest it is already the greatest permutation okay like it's already the greatest number we can make from five zero okay all right after that if i take seven five after that if i take seven five so seven five zero it is also the greatest number i can make with seven five zero okay all right after that i go to this one so the new number is one seven five zero okay but now i can make a next permutation of it i can make a new permutation of it like because it is not the maximum it is not the maximum okay all right so how i got this how i know ki we can create a next permutation of it? if arri arri is less than arr of i plus one arr i plus one in that case it will mean ki i have got a less number and i can create a new permutation of it i can create a new permutation of it okay all right so now for this my i is this one i is this one okay all right so this is first step we have to do first step uh, iterate over this whole array and try to find out okay all right so i got my i1 so what should be the new number what should what how can now we have to just create a new number out of these only out of these only because 2 4 is done 2 4 i don't need to touch it i can create a next permutation with these numbers only okay all right how can i create look now i have to find the next greater element than one i have to find the next greater element than one in these numbers in this one seven five zero i have to find the next greatest element because look this much is already solved this much is already greatest okay so i have to replace this one with five only i have to replace this one with five only so in the next step my array will be something like two four five seven one zero okay two four five seven one zero but is this sorted but is this the next greater permutation no i need to do one more step i need to do just one more step that is this i was my i was this my i was this okay so just reverse the whole array from here reverse the whole array after five reverse the whole array after five so new array will be two four five zero one seven okay and that is our answer that is our answer okay so we can divide this into three very very good parts three very very good steps first one is what first one is what find out that i where arri is less than arri plus one 
okay that is one thing okay i hope that will be clear after that second thing is what second thing is what if i got the i i got the i i have to find the next greater element than i next greater element than i for this one the next greater element is what 5 okay next greater element is 5 just swap them just swap them 2 4 5 7 1 0 okay now second step is done swapped now third step is what just reverse the remaining array reverse the remaining array and that is done that's done reverse the array and we are done okay all right but if let's like, suppose error i is less than error i plus 1 is this the case with 2 no 2 is greater than 1 is this the case with 3 no 3 is greater than 2 okay i come to here i came here minus 1 i came to minus 1 index if i reach at minus 1 index i it means it means no such permutation exists it means no such permutation exists because 3 to 1 how can i get a next permutation of it okay so what i will do i will simply reverse the array and return i will simply reverse the array and return okay but to reverse the array there is one more good thing which i can do is i will swap this array i will swap this array okay so it will be something like if there are more numbers so then they also will be swapped and i will get our reverse array okay because it is already in descending order it is already in descending order i have to move it to ascending order just swap the array reverse okay all right i hope the steps will be clear now what i want from you guys is to sit with pen and uh, paper and try to find out a pattern try to uh, take as many examples as you want and then like uh, i prove this algorithm okay all right because like i the more you will explore it the more you will be happy to see oh is this in this way it is working okay all right now let's go to the code part but before that if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video okay please don't forget okay all right let's go so first of all i is equal to i i will take one i okay after that i will take one n is equal to arr dot length okay just to not use this again and again and again so what i will do i will start from not int i is equal to n minus 2 i is greater than equal to 0 i minus minus okay i will tell you why because look i, I what i told arr i and arr i plus 1 Okay, so i plus one. If I want, I have to start from n minus two. Then only I can get uh, error i plus one. Because otherwise, if I'm starting from n minus one, i plus one will be out of bounds. Okay, all right. So if error i is less than error i plus one, we will simply break. We will simply break from here. Okay, because now I got something. I got something. Okay, all right. So if i is greater than minus 1 it means i can find the next permutation it means i can find the next permutation otherwise otherwise it's very very simple just swap or we can say reverse array arr and i will pass some indexes as well from starting till the end 0 to n minus 1 okay all right this n will be smaller something like this okay all right now what we have to do here if you remember step 2 what i told i have to find the next maximum number i have to find the next maximum number okay so let's suppose my next max currently is integer dot max value okay and my next max next pose let's say next pose is zero anything it can be next pose is zero okay all right so what i will do i will simply start a loop from j is equal to i plus 1 j is less than n j plus plus and if my new number arr i is arr j sorry arr j is greater than arr i okay and it is less than next max and and arr j is less than next max okay it means i got a number it means i got a number so what i will do i will simply update my next max is equal to arr of what it can be arr of j okay and my next pose is equal to j okay all right so when i will come out of this loop i will get the next number i will get the next permutation of it okay i hope this will be clearing so what i told in step 3 just swap just swap the current i number i and what i got at j okay just swap both of them so what i will do i will take a tmp is equal to arr of i okay and arr of i is equal to arr of next pose and arr of next pose is equal to tmp so in this way i have swapped in this way i have swapped so now after these steps i will be having some array which will which will be something like 245710245710 okay if i write it here 
710 something like this let's make it 245710 okay now what i told from i plus 1 from i plus 1 just swap the array from i plus 1 just reverse the array okay so that for that i have already a function which i will write i will pass reverse and from where to where from i plus 1 to n minus 1 to the last okay all right so here just i will write a function static void uh, reverse it will take two things int arr int i and int j okay you can take any numbers and what i will do while i is less than j just swap so what i will do let's copy these three things int tmp is equal to arri arri is equal to arr of j and arr of j is equal to tmp after that just update the pointers i plus plus and j minus minus okay all right i hope it should get accepted let's try to some compile this once meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel because it motivates us a lot okay oh sorry i just not commented it let's compile and run and please try to find as many test cases try to create test cases and then justify this by yourself because the problem beauty will you will get when you will explore it by yourself okay all right i hope it will be getting accepted and if you want to give a mock interview i have added a link in the comment section please fill the form for it and i will take your mock interview and i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye